Now, uh, somewhat on the other end of the scale, we have here a, uh, a Beckman HD 153. It's a 2000 count uh, auto ranging multimeter from about 1990 or so. I used to have uh, a Beckman 223, and it was a really good multimeter. I enjoyed it a lot. I can't tell you how many hundreds, maybe thousands of pieces I fixed using that meter, even though it was just 2000 count but it was a really just a good meter uh, I really enjoyed using it well a few years ago it, it died and that's what got me started down the rabbit hole of uh, multimeters uh, the 223 was colored like like this one which is an RMS 225 um, the the 225 uh, is an epic fail in its own right but we'll uh, address that here in a moment the HD 153 is identical, really, to the uh, to the 223, and I'm telling you, you will never see, it seems like, a 223 on eBay. You see the HD 153s from time to time, and it's a very, very decent multimeter. It does not have touch hold, which uh, is a little bit of a drawback, and it is limited to uh, 200 milliamps on, on the milliamp range. It uh, doesn't do microamps, but uh, it's just a, a good meter. It's got a good feel to it. It's very responsive, very reliable, and uh, I, I really like it a lot. It's one of my favorite daily use meters. And uh, it does have uh, one interesting little feature, which I'm about to show. Oh, here's one thing, though. The, uh, the uh, jacks are reversed from where a lot of models are, so you've got to watch out for that. If you're swapping multimeters around a lot, you don't want to put it on a current range when you think it's on voltage. Okay, so here we're uh, just across a power supply. Not not anything special about that, but check this. It has an audible indicator for the voltage. So So you can use your ears as well as your eyes to, to tell if something has uh, has occurred. That, that's a, a pretty handy feature and I don't think I've seen it on any other multimeter. Now with regards to the uh, 225, th this one's a little bit rough. Now with regards to the RMS 225, this one's in a little bit of a rough shape, uh, but it's the second one I've had, and the other one was in a little bit cleaner shape. They both had uh, the following problem that I'm about to describe. In fact, a friend of mine has one too, and they're all the same way. Uh, they take for bloody ever to auto range uh, on the ohms. It, it's the craziest thing. It's an epic fail, and I don't say that sort of thing very often. Let me demonstrate. Hold on. Okay, we're back. Just watch how long it takes this puppy to auto range. And it's just an epic fail. There's just no other way to, to get around it. I'm once again we short the leads. It really has to think about it. It's the darndest thing. Other than that, it's not a bad multimeter. The voltage uh, voltage readings are quite good. It's actually a, uh, a 10,000 count uh, uh, digital voltmeter. You don't see that uh, very often. In fact, that may, this may be the only time I've seen that specifically. But it can it can go to 9999 on on the display when you're reading voltages. It's a heck of a deal there. But uh, um, but that problem with the uh, the ohms uh, auto ranging uh, uh, is just a complete fail as far as I'm concerned. But as I say, HD 153 has no such problems. It auto ranges quick, smart, and it's just a really nice, handy little multimeter to use, and I like it a lot. Okay, and once again, here's my Beckman HD 153, one of my favorite handheld daily use multimeters. It's uh, considered an industrial multimeter, and 
that probably had a slightly different meaning in 1990 or thereabouts when this was made, but uh, in any case, uh, it is put together with uh, high quality uh, threaded screws into countersunk inserts and furthermore it has a uh, little uh, rubber uh, insulating washers there which I don't want to lose. Here's a couple. And the other two are going to be down in there. So, excuse me. Okay and there's the uh, the inside of it, not a whole lot to show really, uh, come a typical 9 volt uh, power source there and it is, uh, it's easy on batteries. Uh, let's take a quick further look inside here. suppose it would have been a good idea to undo the battery first. I hope that's not a problem. That, of course... Okay. Now here's the, uh, here's the inside. The, uh, the thick film resistor network is hidden inside this nice little shield. You have a split input jack for the uh, for the high current range. Now uh, for the fuses you have a, uh, I believe that's a 15 amp uh, HRC fuse there. This is a glass fuse unfortunately and also it's uh, what's come to be an unusual size. That's an 8AG or AGX 360 milliamp. Uh, you're not going to really find that fuse anywhere. Uh, I did, I was able to find a, uh, a 375 milliamp uh, AGX fuse uh, uh, on they're available on eBay so that's that's probably close enough but for any kind of industrial use you really probably want to just take that fuse out of there it's con it would be considered unsafe by modern standards there of course is your your main processor and uh, it, it's not a real special multimeter by by modern standards but I gotta say it's one of my favorites and we'll just put her back together here. Well, just to show you the uh, the inside. It's fairly ordinary looking switch arrangement there. And I just realized we had washers here too, so I better be looking for those. Okay, yeah, we got those here, so that's not a problem. And there you go. There's our, uh, there's our noisemaker. And it also has a, a, a little uh, O-ring around the uh, outer circumference as well. So not, uh, not waterproof, but uh, somewhat resistant to uh, uh, external uh, contamination. Now 
uh, this one I acquired used and the little rubber strip here was missing so I found a couple of little uh, rubber bumpers to attach here to keep it from sliding around on a on a slick surface and that that really helps a lot has a nice little tilt stand it works at a pretty good angle there and also it has a a, a hanger there so the Beckman HD 153 handhold multimeter 2000 count uh, no special features but it's a uh, it's accurate, it's reliable, it's easy on batteries, and it's one of my favorite daily use meters.